hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we will see how we can deploy a django web application in windows server using iis this video is basically a continuation of the series where we are learning web hosting on unmanaged vps so one of the video that is how to install iis in windows server you will have to look that first and then you can continue this video i will put the link in the description of that video or you can find it in our card section you can uh, watch this and then you can continue with this video now the second thing is that this is not the tutorial for django web application development so i already have the django web app with me it's a very basic uh, django application so i assume that you already have your django application ready before proceeding this video so let's start First of all, we'll have to go to our Windows uh, VPS server. So in case if you're wondering what VPS I'm using, I will put the link in the description. You can explore it. They have a powerful VPS plan as well. According to your need, you can select any one of them. Now, after you log into Windows uh, server, first thing you'll have to do is that you'll have to go to IIS manager. For that, you'll have to go to server manager and from server manager you will have to go to tools and then you will have to go to iis and inside iis click on main server and if you will expand this you will be able to see a section called sites under sites you will be able to see all the websites that we have so we will be creating a new sites under that i already have a django website running on this that is bncc.org and uh, before creating a site we'll need the django files so for that let me go to my github account so in the github account i have uh, this code ready so let me just uh, click on this code and click on this copy so alternatively what you can do is that you can uh, click on this download zip it will be downloaded in the zip format copy that uh, zip file and paste it inside uh, this web server so I will just use the git application. So let me just copy it from here and go back to the VPS server. Here I will open a new command prompt and inside that I will have to go to C drive and from C drive I will, I will have to go to init pub slash ww root. Basically, if you have installed IAS, then this path will automatically be created. So all the application or the web application that you want to host, everything should be inside this path only. Now here what I will do, I will clone the GitHub repository here. That is git clone and uh, the URL that I have copied. And it will extract all the file or we can download all the file if, from this repo. Now if I will execute DIR, so I will be able to see a folder called demo Django and now if I will go to C drive and then init pub and then www root I will be able to see the folder here and inside this folder I have my Django application so Django application is in the VPS now go back to IIS manager and from this site I will have to create a website so click on add website and I will give the name of a site. I will give a demo Django and I will have to select the physical path that would be C drive init pub and then www root and then the project name here that is demo Django. So click on OK and um, under binding I will keep it as HTTP IP address. I will select uh, this IP address which is the IP address of this VPS server port I will give it uh, at, as it is that is 80 now if you have a custom domain name then you can give a domain name here now in this series I already have a video also how to point a custom domain name with IIS web application so that uh, also you will find it in the card section so if you want to explore that video then you can definitely watch that and now I will just click on uh, ok and uh, here is our uh, website so this is not uh, done yet now what you'll have to do is that you will have to install two things first thing is that you'll have to install django and second thing you'll have to install fast cgi so for that go to command prompt now 
execute command called pip install django so this will basically install all the libraries which is related to django so i already have this uh, library though that's why it is showing requirement already satisfied and on top of that you will also have to make sure that you have python application hosted in your vps server now the second thing is that you will have to install is wfast cgi so and uh, once you hit enter it will download the library and it will install it in my case it is already there that's why we are seeing requirement already satisfied so these two things you will have to install so let me just uh, close this and uh, now what we'll have to do we'll have to go to the main server here and here we will be able to see option called fast cgi setting just uh, double click on it and uh, we'll have to add an application so this application is already there so basically what you will have to do you'll have to click on add application you'll have to add full path so the full path is nothing but uh, the python application path so usually the python will be installed in your c drive but uh, if you have given any other directory then you'll have to choose that particular path so in my case it is under c drive then python 38 folder and then this python application so if i will click on it then click on open now the argument argument is basically you will have to provide where your fast cgi dot py file is there and usually that you will find it under c drive where your uh, python is installed so go to c drive then uh, python 38 then uh, lib and then site packages and here you will have to find a file called wfast cgi so here it is wfast cgi now let me just copy this particular path and go back to fast cgi settings and click and paste the output here and you must give the file name as, as well so it is wfast cgi dot py so this is the file uh, name and now you can click on ok you are able to see a error called fast cgi application already exists and that is true because we have already added this but make sure you follow this process and add the settings here if you do not find anything here now this is done the next step is to click on this file and here click on handler mapping and now click on open features and you will be able to see a option called add module mapping so click on that request path just give a star here and module make sure you select a fast cgi module and the executable options so here we'll have to give a python directory file so let me just select .exe here and this is the path of the python application that is python.exe file and uh, once you give that give a pipe symbol here and then paste the path for wfastcgi.py file and then give a name here i will give the name demo django and now click on request restriction uncheck this box and then click on ok and then again click on ok and now you'll have to click on no and then you will be able to see a handler mapping has been created here now what we have to do here is that right click on the site name click on explore this will basically take you to the folder where all the django files are located and you will be able to see a file called web.config so this file is automatically created you don't have to create it but you need to modify something here now right click on it and uh, click on edit or if you have any other text editor with you then you can open it using that so i have sublime text so let me just open it with the help of uh, that and, uh, and now just below the configuration you will have to paste few lines and all those lines will looks like uh, this don't worry i will put this line in the description you can get it from there 
and now what you, you will have to do is that you will have to modify this uh, settings so this particular path is basically you will have to point it to your django project folder so in my case this is c drive init pub www demo django so i will paste it that and uh, the second value that you have to modify it here django setting module so instead of test iis just put it your project uh, folder name that is demo django so that's all from this part so i will just close this and uh, i think now it should be working so let go back to iis click on the site and uh, try to restart it and then try to browse this application and it will open a internet explorer and here we are seeing disallowed host at slash so this can be fixed and how you can fix that so basically go back to your django folder and uh, you will have to do some modification under settings.py so go to demo django app here and here you will be able to see a file called settings just uh, open it with any text editor and uh, you will see option called allowed host now here you will have to type uh, single quotes and within single quotes you'll have to give a star and uh, save this and then close this now again go back to your uh, browser and then refresh it and let's see if it is working now so it is working as expected so there is nothing much going on here it's a very basic application home page of uh, django app so this is the basic process of hosting django web application even in windows uh, server using iis so hope you understood the concept here using this concept you can host multiple django application within the single windows uh, server don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video I upload in my channel, you will get a notification immediately.